Good day everyone. So I am going to discuss for this video how to answer the activity in the learning activity sheet. So this will be the part 3 of our discussion on random variables. So to begin with, we have here the problem. The number of patients seen in the emergency room in any given hour is a random variable represented by x. So the probability distribution for x is given. As you can see, the minimum number of patients in a given hour in, an, in the emergency room is 10. And its maximum number of patients is 14. So the values for the random variable are 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So our task here is to find the probability that in a given hour, exactly 14 patients arrive. For letter B, at least 12 patients arrive. And for letter C, at most 11 patients arrive. For the first one, exactly 14 patients arrive, we're just going to look at the probability that corresponds to 14. And that is 0.1. So the probability that the random or 14, the value of the random variable or 14 patients will be in the emergency room is 0.1. For the second one, so we have here the keyword at least. Since we have at least, it tells us that from 12 and above, or we are also going to consider those probabilities whose corresponding values are above 12, and that is 13 and 14. So in this case, we're going to add the probabilities for 12, 13, and 14. And that will be 0.2 plus 0.1 plus 0.1, and that will be 0.4. So the probability that at least 12 patients arrive is 0.4. And for letter C, at most 11 patients arrive. Since we have here the keyword at most, we are going to consider 10 and 11. Since 10 is included in the word at most 11. So what will be its corresponding probability? We're just going to add 0.4, which is the probability that corresponds to 10, and 0.2, which is the probability that corresponds to 11. So we have here 0.4 plus 0.2, and that will be 0.6. It only tells us that the probability that at most 11 patients arrive is 0.6. And that is all for this video.